Hey everybody, welcome back to Is It Kino, the PCP edition. That's right, the thing you look forward to all month is back and better than ever before. This week, the audience voted on the Futurama movie, Bender's Big Score. I am Simeon Jimmy, joined as always by the Weekend Warrior. Hey guys, uh, I, I had a great time watching it. How, how about you, everyone? <laughs> well, let's find out from Florian Himsel. Yeah, I mean, it's Futurama. It's a, th- a good time, usually, you know? And the man who agrees with me that Futurama is better than Rick and Morty, E. Rich <laughs> McCoy. I mean, absolutely. It's fun on the bun, baby. <laughs> it's no question, but Florian, I assume, will have to debate us. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it, but you can't seriously mean that, really. Wow! <laughs> yes, of course! <laughs> That's crazy. Jesus. How many episodes of Rick and Morty have made you cry, Florian? Because I can name probably five Futurama episodes. What? Including this movie when I'm in a certain state of mind. This time I was a little... It, I, I did just watch this movie last year, uh, last mm. January, so it was a little too fresh for me to be yucking it okay. up and, and weeping, but they hit some wow. good emotional highs in this movie. Really? Wow, that's crazy. To me, it's like there's never any any danger of me feeling any emotions in, in any of these. <laughs> what? The Future Ballad of Lilu meant nothing to Florian. What? <laughs> yeah, not a thing. The, the, uh, you mean the obvious parallel to Lila and Lilu? You didn't yeah, cry with that, Florian? Damn. It, it's too stupid, yeah. The How lesson hard. that <laughs> if you really love something, sometimes you got to let it go and be happy mm-hmm. with somebody else. It's it's a very mature thing to have. And really, this is the movie that proves Fry and Lila w- do deserve to be together, but Fry just needs to become mature. And that's, mm-hmm. a, that's a tough lesson for somebody like Florian to, to take. Like, they don't have that in Rick and Morty for sure. Oh, I, th- I thought yeah, they no, don't have Rick, that. In- Rick never gets better in any way. You're right. That's that's right. Yeah, no character not development. A, not though. a theme of the show. You're right. <laughs> nope. <laughs> a weekend. What do you think of Futurama in general? I liked it when it was on the air. I haven't watched the recent ones, so this is wow. a nice like Sinner. refresher. What? Sinner. What? I can't Why believe you're missing sin- out on on this great comeback that they're making again. Oh, the Hulu Rama. Again. Yeah, they got canceled again after this the movie series, right? Then they come back. Then they came back. Futurama, I yeah. believe, has been canceled three or four times, and each time it comes back, it resembles less of what I loved about it originally. <laughs> like people say that the, the current Simpsons is Zombie Simpsons, but Futurama has literally come back from the dead multiple times, and mm-hmm. it, I don't know. It, it, modern Futurama might be better than like the lowest of the low of Simpsons, but. Uh, I did not love the Hulu season. Well, how, what do you mean? You, you don't even watch Modern Simpsons, do you? Like, it's going be better I've, in that way. Already. I saw the most recent Halloween Treehouse of Horror special. Oh, well, that's and not it was fair. fucking that's horrible. <laughs> Those are the best ones, usually. Marge went to the what computer out? to fight NFTs. Yeah, that one was great. <laughs> like, even in Futurama, oh, okay. I would roll my eyes, and that was The Simpsons. Yeah, it's way worse than that outside of the Halloween episodes, dude. <laughs> yeah, oh, so you're saying that The Simpsons is not good currently. I thought you were going to say that The Simpsons currently was, was really good. No, I'm saying that Futurama is definitely much better than The Simpsons. Okay. In, right. Especially right now. Well, but, some I mean, people in general, some people believe, including myself, that Futurama is the reason why The Simpsons went on a decline in the first place was because... Uh, when they started Futurama, they took all the best writers from The Simpsons to start the new right. show with Matt Groening, and then, you know, that's around season, what, 10-ish of The Simpsons, and that's when things are considered not the started golden the era. Yeah. Oh, right. oh, did it happen again now with Disenchantment, and that's why you don't like it anymore? <laughs> uh, I'm I guessing like he took the... the he, he said, okay, Simpsons 35, season 35 writers, I need the five worst ones to come help me write Enchantment. <laughs> And that's what happened. <laughs> oh, that wasn't good. Get very far into that show. I, I made the, it three episodes fantasy. in. This is the well, fantasy thing, right? I gets, have not watched that. It gets a lot better, okay? It does it, it, does it for me? Because I've watched like two and a half seasons and I like wow. quit watching because I was just not interested. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what, what, there's only like three seasons, right? So I guess you... <laughs> you got pretty close to so the does end. it get yeah. good in the final episode maybe wait, no, wait, 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 no actually I think there's five right five seasons and then it's concluded isn't that crazy know. concluding a series 
instead of <laughs> instead of having canceled. it canceled and revived at four what times. point would you say it gets good florian well i mean like i think the second half of the first season is already a lot better i, I don't know i guess it's it's a very unique flavor i guess but i i just like continuity so much more than uh, the episodic stuff so it's it's already getting because i was gonna say that, that was the that was the part of the show that didn't work for me is that they were so reliant on an overall story and overall continuity of what they were doing it felt like they did not have enough jokes in there and like the jokes they did have were pretty lazy kind of just <laughs> uninspired yeah, toss-offs well they do have some stupid jokes for sure but i i, I actually prefer less jokes like jesus like there's oh so God. many jokes in these in the that, in the animated comedy show you're yes, watching you yes, prefer imagine that you were jokes there are so many stupid jokes in futurama and the simpsons that yes i think it can take less okay is your favorite yeah. comedy schindler's list because it doesn't have any <laughs> jokes in it yes that makes perfect sense. florian <laughs> tried to argue that migration the the duck movie was better because there were not any jokes in it and that Mike White's like some there's genius some, for making a kids' some, movie with no jokes. There's some oh. jokes. What? So everything just has to have constant bad jokes. Is that it? it? Well, you're no, going on the same oh, rant he did it last time we talked about migration. Because I, well, I think there is like again. a there's an opposite side of this, which is the new Mystery Science Theater 3000 on Netflix has too many jokes per minute. Where it's like they're they're just trying to shove as many things in there as possible. Too is Elliot Kalin to blame? I, I think he's partially the uh -oh. yes. So the guy who inspired us to be doing this podcast has yes. ruined Mystery Science Theater 3000. I wouldn't say ruined, but it was definitely like it throws off the like tenor of the thing if they're just mm. constantly throwing jokes in. Yeah. I mean, I, I think there's like a crazy amount of jokes in, in Futurama as well. Like, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. How no, you guys no, no, it's no, 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 Florian. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> There's so wow. many. Wait, why, why are you mad, Rich? Explain. It's it's the right number of jokes to keep you entertained and like engaged in something, um, while what? still like they, they obeying the overall me, story that they're they telling. They take me out of it because I see them coming. Oh, I feel like Futurama, and especially this era where they're really firing on all cylinders, it mm -hmm. might have more good jokes per capita per minute than any other show. Like, th and they. I feel like this movie in particular, Bender's Big Score, which was the first of four straight-to-DVD mm -hmm. movies two years after the show was canceled on Fox, uh, I think they poured their heart and soul into this movie in particular because it was going to be the first big thing to come back after the show was canceled. And it's just, it's chock full of jokes. At, at, are you complaining about that, Florian, that it's too funny? Yeah, like, for, for example, when they bring in Santa, and then he's got his, his, his other... Christmas related Robot Santa, the Hanukkah zombie, and yeah, uh, and, uh, and there's the, a and lot the of good songs guy. in the movie. Oh, there yeah. are so many stupid jokes when these three come on. Oh my <laughs> fucking god, Kwanzaa bot, Kwanzaa bot. Yeah, Kwanzaa you see, bot. it's yeah. funny because when when I first saw this movie, right when it came out, I thought that that song was maybe not as good as it should have been. But now watching it again, I'm like, this is great. Like. Why did I? Why did I complain about this? But it was, I thought I found it really fun this time. Have you seen this before, Florian, or is this the first? Yeah, I've seen, seen it before. You know, okay. I like right. songs, but the, the jokes, like outside of the songs or even in the songs, I guess are aren't the best. Okay, whatever. I think they were all very clever. I think if we bro mm -hmm. broke down the song like line by line, like we would see, like wow, they stuffed as much humor into this as humanly possible. I don't know, I guess I'm the only one who thinks that you can just do too much of it, okay? Like, that you don't need to pause the the humor. Uh, you don't need to pause the movie to have a stand-up routine, okay? Like, please. <laughs> okay, so you don't like the humor in the Futurama movie, and you also did not like the emotional scenes with the animal and, you know, all the morals and, and themes of How growing about up. So what did you get out of the movie, Florian, if you hated the humor and the sad stuff? Well, I definitely like Bender, okay? He's great. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. Yeah, was like, well... <laughs> Oh, Bender's the finest one there, I agree. The only I mean, character with the last name Rodriguez who Florian can stand. <laughs> yeah. Bender bending Rodriguez. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, Fry is insufferable most of the time, and he's, like, his joke is always that he's stupid, and it's not great, okay? And then Leela is fairly boring. Sap Brannigan is, is lame, but I guess, like, well, I... Well, he has his I moments, but he's I can't believe you skipped lames. right to Zap Brannigan. Yeah, he just, he just, he's barely in the movie. 
Yeah, yeah he, was, the, he showed the, up the, for the last three minutes, and he the, the, the professor got, is got. right. But but he is his good his, news, everyone. When when he's <laughs> se, when he's senile, that's not too much fun either. <laughs> and then, Amy has a very boring personality, but she's one of the few cartoon characters I do want to fuck. So mm. Amy gets a, a B ranking from me. Yeah, Amen. Definitely hot. <laughs> Did Amen. you watch the uh, Hulu version of this? Uh, where they split it into episodes? Yeah, and that's what they did. They did? I didn't watch that, but I believe uh, it's either season four or season five of the show on Hulu. It's, it's just seven. all the movies. Right. It's seven. It's either six or seven, I believe. Okay. I, I think I think I may have seen it that way too because I don't remember this being a movie. So that might have been yeah. what happened. So I, I watched the 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 movie rip version of it. I believe the version you guys watched have a lot more of the executive powder. Torgo's executive powder, yes. like little commercials yes. and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you another, guys had to put up with a lot brilliant. more of that than me. Another brilliant joke that definitely needed to be. <laughs> so, like Florian, Florian, let me give you the opportunity to explain that joke real quick, and then I'll do it correctly after you fail. <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, the executive powder is the the corpses of the executives who have cancelled the the show. <laughs> yeah. The okay. Joke, I'm the surprised you actually got that right. So you, wow, you don't see yeah. that as them being spiteful and like the whole movie they're making jokes about how they're using their corpses to do anything. Look, look it was fine. Okay, but then like the first five times it was fine, but then like <laughs> by by time ten maybe maybe dial it back twenty maybe stop please stop. They, they've had enough. They're already dead, as Ralph likes to say. <laughs> so You're I, so mad. <laughs> well, I'll agree with Florian that in the, the televised version, there's mm-hmm. a bit too much of it. But you, you guys just, uh, you yeah. shouldn't have been on Hulu. You watched the wrong version. I mean, I swear there was 20 in the in the movie version, in the movie version too. Okay, there, there were definitely 20 appearances of that powder, right? Yeah, but I think, it, like, they literally have commercial breaks about right. it in what you uh. watched, right? No, yeah. no, I, I originally I watched that one, but now I watched the movie. Okay. Well, it is a good recurring joke. Uh, Weekend, we haven't heard too much from you. Uh, what do you feel about this movie? I, I, how can I say that it's good, right? Like, like it, uh, I, I'm more like, I, my brand of like reviewing just shit is just mocking bad movies. This isn't a bad movie at all. Um, it, it was it was a nice uh, flashback. Uh, I, I really like I remember liking these movies when they came out because I really liked Futurama. It sucked that they got cancelled. But it it was funny like they spent the first five minutes just setting up why they exist again. <laughs> Good news everyone, we're uncancelled and and they're mocking Box News Network or something. <laughs> mm-hmm. and, and it they they just really wanna say fuck you to those guys. So yeah, the opening thing. five I, minutes is great okay. at like establishing yeah. the context of the movie and mm-hmm. yeah. just the puns they have of the delivery company as opposed to a television show. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. very inspired and very funny. Yeah. I think, yeah, and- in, in my opinion, they should have just done that opening part and then you don't have to do jokes about it after that. Like, just <laughs> yeah. start it that way. No, no fair, way! Fair. You agree with me? Oh no! Fair enough. Uh, how could this be? I, I'm I okay with being spiteful much. against those who canceled you. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, yeah, hypothetically, I would not be against, like, making Susan jokes in a feature film, <laughs> like, throughout the whole thing. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm kind of that. over it at this point. I can see why they would still be angry. <laughs> Right, right. Like, especially if it was two years earlier or whatever. Yeah. Especially when, when you compare it to some of the trash that was on TV. You know, like, you canceled the Futurama, time. one of the mm-hmm. all-time greatest animated shows. Come on. Yeah, they even had a joke with Family Guy there, right? There was a calendar with Family Guy. Uh, I was going to say... There was a quick, oh, a quick like, sh- I, don't know, I don't know if it's a shout-out or, 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 uh, or a shit talk, but it was like, oh, it's... <laughs> Family Guy Sim- was not cancelled. Yeah, go Simpsons ahead. Simpsons and Futurama in general have always kind of had an axe to grind against Fox, which is so funny because, like, it's yeah. the network they were airing on for the most part, so, like, they were always just taking shots at Well, Fox. even Family Guy does that too, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well deserved. Well, yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's fine. Like, I, I definitely enjoyed that part at the start. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I just thought it was, like, less funny in the end. I don't know. 
Weekend. It's, it's very funny. Oh, God. Well, Weekend, you mentioned that you liked all of these movies, and I, I do want to discuss that, because hopefully we won't have to end up watching all four of them through the PCP. Uh, <laughs> I, I last jo- uh, January, I rewatched all four of them, and I feel like they do get worse they, with I each one. Like they get oh, worse damn. as they go along. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is, this is like a 4.5 out of 5, like, God-tier movie for me, and then, like, by the time you get to the Wild Green Yonder... It's, it's a real stinker like oh man we're this feels like the hulu season but way is, before is bender's game the third one yeah yeah i remember the watching one. the bender's game one and just being like man the idea the concept that they should be playing with this is so much better than what they're actually doing and i just got yeah. kind of pissed at the movie yeah, just from the name, I want to see it again, and I don't even remember what it was about it's, at it's, all. It's a D&D parody, mm-hmm. but ah. instead of, like, rolling, I, I might be wrong, instead of rolling the dice to, like, do things, it's more of a MacGuffin that they're trying to collect it, like the like mm-hmm. the one ring from Lord of the Rings. It, it right. would have been cooler if they were rolling a dice and actually kind of playing D&D. Right, it, it's, it's so not what it should be, that entire movie, so... Oh, just to add, this was, a fir- this was around, like, what, 2008, 2009? No, when it came 2007, out? Yeah. This one was 2007. Yeah, er, yeah, 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 around that time. So this was the first time I I really got into torrenting, and it was like, oh, cool, I could watch it at the same <laughs> time as the United States. That, that was like, <laughs> that was the fun part for me, and maybe it's nostalgia, maybe I have to rewatch the, the other movies. But this, mm-hmm. one's, this one held up. I really like this one. It, the second uh, one I also really like because uh, basically a tentacle god starts a polyamorous relationship with every single living thing on Earth, mm-hmm. and then a bender has to become a space pirate who goes up into heaven to fight God and save humanity. So that I mean that, that's just Kino on itself, even if the build up mm-hmm. to it kind of sucked. Yeah, it that's sounds so relatable. Damn, <laughs> going to heaven to fight God. <laughs> No, that's no. in Bullfrog 2, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's Bullfrog 2. <laughs> With tentacles. <laughs> oh, damn. Like, one of my animes. I, like, I love it. <laughs> is I mean, is it Kino is kind of about a uh, a tentacled god who the rest of us are constantly battling, right? <laughs> yeah. <Cool>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look uh, at him. <laughs> one day, one of you will become a space pirate, and I'll have to fear. But for now, it is no contest. <laughs> was anybody shocked by the plot twist that Lars was actually Fry was all fry. along? Well, I uh, must have I... been spoiled on it because it, it wasn't too shocking at all. <laughs> I think it was built up well enough. I think when I first watched it, I was like, "Oh, that's nice. That was a twist." But when so, you look at it, like they had the same nose, right? And well, same exact the, voice, even the same and the voice yeah. actor. Yeah. yeah, it's clear that it's just Billy West doing like a deeper, like, <laughs> deeper yeah, fry yeah. voice. My hair, my larynx. Oh, <laughs> but I'm, there, I'm, to- I'm there totally are a lot not of fry. Uh, callbacks to things throughout the series, and I I thought it was very sweet that other than when he went to the North Pole, Fry basically did get to live his life with that dog who uh, yeah, Bender nice. Bender made him turn into a rock by shooting the explosion. <laughs> but yeah, the dog was not waiting for nobody. He actually spent a lot of time mm-hmm. with Fry. That's very sweet. That's nice. Well, I, yeah, I guess. But they they completely destroyed like the whole continuity. So I guess it was non canonical. No, non-canonical. Florian, why are you worried no. about the continuity in Futurama? Yeah, it's a fuck. Yeah. It's yeah. time it's, travel. It's a comedy show. We, we need to know about that dog, okay? Florian, you like a show where they killed off one universe and they're living their lives in some doppelgangers as doppelgangers in some other universe, right? So. That Why continuity do you care about was continuity important. Here? No, yeah. they, they just—it was just, they just destroyed the Earth. Okay, it's fine. Jeez. <laughs> you need to have Farnsworth's attitude, where they told him, like Farnsworth, you literally time traveled back to Roswell, and he said, <laughs> "I don't remember that." Like, just, just choose to not remember things if they don't seem canon to you. Wait, but also, doesn't yeah. the end of this uh, episode or movie kind of like answer the question that like doesn't everything end when all the benders explode? Yeah. yeah. Well, it opens up a crack in space, and that's just an excuse for the the tentacle Second. monster to come in the next movie. Uh, okay. Yeah, oh, is that what happens? Right. Yeah. That's, it, that's that, like the it, only it, real continuity with the movies too. Is like this just <laughs> explains where the crack came from. Oh, I did like. I did like when Lars was doing his own eulogy, and they like, oh, welcome to the, another wacky eulogy from. from the <laughs> no, that was fucking funny. Yeah, yeah. That's how I want to go. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. So, do you guys like the scammers? The uh, scamming. Oh, I, I species. They were, 
They were a good villain because I hated the fuck out of them. <laughs> I, I kept like, wondering throughout the fucking episode, shoot these fucks already. I, I was like, Bender, your your mind control is gone. Shoot these fucks. Uh, I was like, uh, anyway. Did anybody you notice match? one of the voice actors for the scammers is a man we've discussed many times together? What? Really? It, it did sound familiar. The Who voice of Fred be? from Scooby-Doo. Oh really? Oh, really? oh damn! Was that not Frank Weller, whatever the fuck his name is? I think he's one of the scammers. I, oh, I cool. swear he sounded exactly like the the scammers from from Rick and Morty. Hmm. I thought one of the voices was uh, I can't remember what the name of the actor is, but uh, <laughs> he always sounds like this. <laughs> What the fuck is his name? But uh, to answer your question, E. Rich, I think the scammers as villains is maybe the the weakest point of the movie for mm. me. Like, mm. it's bad enough that they're hideously ugly. Like, if my ball sack had a tumor, and don't hate them because they're beautiful. Okay, <laughs> but I love them. the the parts of the movie where Bender has been taken over by a virus and he's really the villain, I think that works way better. Like, mm -hmm. ben, Bender works as a great villain in Futurama, and then becomes the anti-hero by the end. But these scammers who are controlling him, they don't have the riz for me. Like, they don't have the comedic charisma. They do just really annoy me that every single character on Earth becomes a retard just to fall for yeah. their <laughs> obvious scams. Right. They must it's, it's have like some me kind of pheromones. It, it's, it's also like, scams from, like, a thousand years ago. Yeah, it's within like... Within this time. It's like, the, are these how Zoomers get tricked online? Is that what I'm thinking of when I, when I I'm like, ooh, I am I am now the heir of Zimbabwe, uh, mm -hmm. Conra Hermes. Uh, 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 oh, oh, no, oh. These the, the scams are so old at this point that they're arcane wisdom, okay, in Futurama. That makes <laughs> you know, sense. Fair. But su such fair. common sense to us to not fall for it that we don't teach the next generation about it. It's kind of like math and reading in America. <laughs> like, we just assume they'll figure it out, so we haven't taught them any of it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Or it's Sorry, like when, they, when they use the, the art of war for by Sun Tzu, you know, and, and modern people are confused by it. So, Florian, what did you think of the sub-sub-subplot with Hermes and Barbados Slim? <laughs> I, I didn't <laughs> like it too much. You didn't like it? What? Why? No. <laughs> but it introduced the very important uh, <laughs> plot element of the time people, the time doubles dying because of the paradox thing. Oh, true. Oh, yeah, so important. Yeah, but it's I funny hate, that. I hate how his butt was backwards. Oh. <laughs> It goes on too long. I think his head was backwards. But, yeah, the yeah. classic. Th that's classic Zoidberg, though. That's like, oh, Zoidberg, <laughs> you, you wacky lobster, you. Uh. <laughs> Everything else worked perfectly, but oops, just backwards. <laughs> Florian, when the movie was over, did you try to find some Rule Thirty Four of the nude beach scene? Because they were conveniently covering up all the genitals, you know, somehow, you know, with the choreography of the scene. Maybe you could find a version online that shows a little bit more. Sam, no, I, I did not. Did you? Well, you did recommend in the Big Fat Liar episode that we start reviewing pornography on Is It Kino? So no. if you find this wow. nude beach scene animated somewhere, maybe next episode we'll bring it in. That's a terror. That's a terrible. That's a terrible suggestion, Florian. What? How? What are we gonna talk about? <laughs> Why well, did I do that? I, I don't remember. Wow, you're pulling out the Urkel on this one. <laughs> you're pulling out the Farnsworth. You're like, oh, I, I forgot. It doesn't matter. Oh. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh damn! Well, did I do that? It's pretty <laughs> hard to to find something obscure like this, you know. Erich, which porno should we review for next episode? Um, Backdoor Sluts 9, maybe? <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> wow. What was the name of the the actress that Weekend likes? Maybe he can recommend oh, one of her films. Anything with Ray Little Black. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. If Florian refuses to watch porn with Black in the name, so you might oh, want to try yeah. again. Ray Little Austrian, how about that? <laughs> Whoa! <friend? laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> Does it have later hose? Hmm. Did did well, you guys like the message that they were, Fry and Lila were going to be together anyway? Just that Fry has to grow up. Did did you guys like that? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's accurate, and I I'd say they convincingly do mature Fry up a little bit in later seasons, especially once uh, really. Fry and Lila actually become a an item. Uh, he I I think he does get a little bit less annoyingly stupid. 
No, I, I still, I, I'm, st- I'm still feeling bad for the fact that Amy could have been this love interest, and and Fry had one episode where he was in love with Amy, and and then they just pulled this Leela and Fry thing for the entire rest of the show. I mean, you know, Leela, so. I'm sorry, uh, uh, Amy's <laughs> with, uh, what's his name, Kith. Kith, Kith, yeah, the alien guy. Oh yeah, well not in this movie, right? Well, Florian, no. if I were uh, yes, uh, she does get a message from Kiff at the beginning of the movie, but if I recall that wow. episode when they date, uh <laughs> Fry and Amy end up having both their heads on the same body and they <laughs> get really annoyed living together, so they were not meant to be. Well, that's just a contrivance. <laughs> if you can't share a body wow. with two heads on it with the girl you love, <laughs> then she's not the one for you. Florian yeah, I- I don't know, man. I feel like you'd get annoyed at anyone if you were attached like that. Okay. I think you and me would get along just fine, Florian. <laughs> like, I might request some less corn pizza in the diet so there's less watery diarrhea shit every day out of our shared asshole. But yeah, otherwise, I think, I think we'd be fine. I think I think you'd be our shared asshole, okay? <laughs> wow. So the corn pizza goes that... in your mouth and the shit comes out my mouth like cat dog. Yeah. Uh, how would... <laughs> How would dating work in that scenario? Like, let's say the sugar baby Sim- comes over and I if- put on a blindfold. Yeah, or or what if some guy likes Simeon and Florian and goes like, "Wait, why does it have to be a guy? A yeah. girl, some girl, some girl, some girl likes Florian, and and say Simeon has to like wear a hood or or whatever. Like, maybe it's a threesome. Yeah, how will the sex work? Like, like oh, this is the por- <laughs> guys. This is the porn review, right? <laughs> yeah, we're reviewing the porno that me and Florian are gonna make when our yeah. bodies combine. Yeah, and yeah. and you meet up with Ray Little Asia, uh, Ray Little Austrian, <laughs> and and like, ooh, Florian, you're so hot. Who is this head you're with? And, yeah, and then she turns on the light, and it's like me and Florian's heads making out in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna join in or what? Yeah. <laughs> it ain't gonna suck itself, lady. Oh, <laughs> and we got Erich in the cuck chair in the corner watching. That's right. That's where I belong. <laughs> He's reading the LA Times. <laughs> uh, any other thoughts on watch. <laughs> on this movie or Futurama in general before we move on to the new PC people? It just it just sucks that if if we do rewatch some of it and it doesn't hold up. Because this was a really fun rewatch for me, so I'd say give the Beast of the Billion backs a watch, and if the polyamory stuff isn't too cringe, you'll enjoy it, and then just Mm. skip the last two. All right. I remember when the show came back the first time. I think uh, after the movies, there were some episodes that I didn't care much for. I think there was an episode with like Susan Boyle where it was like a literal boil. Yeah. That. I thought that was one of the worst fucking jokes. And also, what about the one, iPhone? Eh, yeah, like it was kind of stuff where they were doing that stuff that didn't make any sense to do in the future, in the year three thousand, and I was just pissed off. <laughs> uh, and also, like at that point, Susan Boyle was like three years of, like removed from the popular remembrance, so it was yeah. so stupid. It was like, what the fuck? Guess, is, it, what the guess it was written back before it was cancelled, huh? I think the fact that an ugly person had had one talent is mm-hmm. is newsworthy, and we should all still be remembering that 15 years later. Like, oh, that ugly woman had a beautiful voice. <laughs> Goddamn, let's put it in every pop culture reference ever. Yeah. That yeah, bitch so be like, ugly. I, never I don't know. Do you think the show, like, I know the movies, at least two of them are decent to all, all right to great. Um, the show since then, I've heard people say that a couple of the episodes are really good. Um, is it good that it came back overall? I, hmm, I get, maybe Futurama is kind of like pizza, where even mm-hmm. like a bad slice of pizza, you're still eating still pizza, pizza better than yeah. eating fucking broccoli. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I was a little bit cringed out watching some of the new episodes, but, uh, Everich, we watched the premiere episode together at my house right. and, you know, it was that, right. yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. But like the Western episode was a bit of a stinker. Oh, that one was mm-hmm. bad, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh there what was there was one where they were it was like another iPhone Susan Boyle thing where it was a parody of something recent, but I can't remember what it was. Do you know Florian? Oh, damn it, I swear there were like several really bad ones, so I don't remember though. Okay. I guess I guess the Wild West one is probably the worst one. Uh mm-hmm. but you know what? I like all the voice actors in Futurama. I'm glad that they're getting to bring mm-hmm. back these characters, even when the actors are fucking 75. 
Like, I, I've been watching Married with Children and the voice actress for Leela. Yeah, she's the mom in that show. And I was like, damn, she looks old here. <laughs> and this was like in 1988. What? Wait, what am I thinking of? Married? Is that the one where, where it goes like love and marriage? Correct. Wow. That, wow. She, that's from the 80s, right? Yeah, Jesus, that's that Leela. Is... Well, damn, I guess. What? And really? It, yeah, but I, I don't think necessarily that she looked old. I think it might be her hairstyle looks yeah. old to us because I believe my grandmother had that the whole time <laughs> I was a child. So it just she's she's famously very hot in that show. Sure, well, yeah, and, and also it, it's a little bit grainy, so it's hard to really see it. <laughs> I mean, she must have been at least thirty in that, so that would mean she'd be sixty, right? I she might be almost seventy okay. in real life right now. Holy I shit. think she still sounds pretty good. I, I think Billy West's yeah. voice has clearly gone down the shitter. Yeah. Yeah, at least nobody's the as bad as Marge. Why did they keep her? Act, like, th there's no better reason to retire The Simpsons than everyone's voice is sounding <laughs> bad. No, you're wrong, Erich. No. Uh, just yeah, in time, strange. we have a new invention. It's called AI. Yeah. The, no. the Simpsons can keep going forever now. No. <laughs> I would rather have AI totally Marge will. than have that poor 95-year-old woman destroy her <laughs> fucking throat with cancer doing that voice again. <laughs> yeah, God, can you imagine, like, 34 seasons <laughs> of this voice? Have no fears, we've got stories, we've got for, stories years. for years. Like, Marge becomes a robot. a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Some other crazy <laughs> wedding. <laughs> Well, that's so fitting, yeah. I guess it would become a robot. <laughs> uh, should we have a new rule for the PCP poll that the winner of the previous episode should have to go first so that everybody else knows what they're up against? Mm. Ah. Mm. Yeah, that's okay. a good, good rule. Okay, who won this episode? Who picked Futurama? I think it was you, man. Ah, it, was you. <laughs> it was you, you, okay. you fuck. <laughs> you Guys, here's my strategy. All this time I've been picking shitty movies because I mm -hmm. thought people would vote for him. But I pick a movie I actually really like, Futurama movie, and, and it wins. Suddenly, yeah, right. So I'm going to keep picking movies that I genuinely love, that I've been watching on repeat since I was a child. And hopefully the good people at home will bless me with a Serbian film. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, Hook no. a brother up. Genuinely like... Oh my no, god, E Rich, that's are you kidding me? For sure. I love oh this my. film, E Rich. Wow, no, I've never seen no. it. I've never seen it. I think you'll I get a kick out of it. it. Wow, okay. Did they make a dubbed version yet? Yeah, Jesus. Oh, the subtitles aren't that bad. I mean, at one point, the guy does say in English, newborn porn! So at least you'll oh, understand Jesus. that. Oh, wow. Jesus. I did not. I can't I wait did to not. understand that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what do you think newborn porn could refer to? Yeah, I, I've, I've seen your video. I know it refers to. <laughs> so has nobody seen this movie? I have. For for, I, I, I wanted to understand why Kino liked it, so... <laughs> oh, I didn't know Kino also... I, no, I guess I did know that because I helped him film his video about it. Uh, did you enjoy the movie, Weekend? Uh, it was different. <laughs> <laughs> if you interpret it bad, as... Right? If, it's an, if you interpret it as an X-rated version of The Hangover... Where instead of trying to find Doug, you're trying to find your wife and kid uh, after going on a crazy drug-fueled binge that you don't remember, and you have to solve the clues and the mysteries of what really happened. I mean, it's kind of a fun movie. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, I uh, guess. Well, uh, maybe nobody will vote for it, and the yeah, rich will never learn. Likely. Yep, uh, definitely, definitely not already decided that it'll win. Well, okay. that's why I went first, so now you guys can gauge what you think <laughs> the audience reception will be and choose a movie to defeat me. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I will then choose the first Saw movie. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I, I'm, I'm gonna split the disgusting vote. Okay, so. I don't know. I last Halloween I watched Saw one and two as uh, my virgin viewing, and I was thoroughly unimpressed. Uh, not enough gore or anything for me. I don't. Uh -huh. Maybe people were just weaker back when that came out. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I know, I know you don't care for it, but I mean, it, like to anyone else, it would still be pretty gross, you know. 
I don't know. Eridge, are, did the Saw movies work for you? I thought they were a little bit lame. Okay, okay. So here's the breakdown of the Saw movies because I just watched all of them recently. Um, oh, wow. They start off, off they start off pretty like unenthusiastic if you already know what their deal is. I feel like when Saw first came out, people didn't really know what Saw was. So like because it was so new and genuine, it had some kind of like grip on people. But now when you know what it is, it's just pretty boring. As they go on, they both get worse, <laughs> um, which can be good, <laughs> but also they get very into their own continuity in a fun way where things are taking place like before the original movie and like in between other Saul movies and it just gets like crazy. So I think it's worth going through all of them if you have the patience and you can sit down and watch what is essentially the same movie over and over and over again. And then the <laughs> fucking the fucking Chris Rock movie is bad. Uh, Does Jigsaw hard. slap him? What? There's a Chris... Rock. Yes. What? Spiral from the Book of Saul is a Chris what? Rock Saul movie. <laughs> that just came what out like two years fuck? ago. Yeah. I, wow, that sounds amazing. Is this a fucking rabbit hole? Oh my god, I did not know that shit. And Chris There's Rock is so now directing an American remake of the drunk movie that yeah, Kino Corner loves. What the that. fuck is I'm up with that? Around. Yeah. Why don't these get the same actor? Doesn't he speak English? Yeah, Moss Mickelson. I don't yeah, know why just get him. him. Right, right. Is he is he in his rebirth phase because he got slapped by Will Smith? Is is that his ear now? Uh, I think the director or, uh, said that if it's not good, he should get slapped again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a Serbian film and Saw. What are you putting up there, Weekend? I'm gonna put up Expendables Four. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh man. Expend for balls. The movie so bad, no one gave a shit that. Oh, it came say, out. It yeah. came out to no. Like I never saw a trailer. I never saw yeah. anything for it. Yeah, I just knew right. that it was out. Yeah, I unfortunately no one... saw the trailer many times, and it's a very bad trailer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. Shit. This cost one hundred million dollars to make, guys. So, and nobody gave a shit. Well, it probably That's... made its money back, anyways, right? I hope not. It will be after fun. we give it a bump on Is It Kino. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> the Kino bump, which <laughs> should be about as good as its original box office well, tape. We, we can measure the value of a Kino bump. Like, just go look at the view counts on anti-reviews. That's about as good as Is It Kino can can push somebody <laughs> else's product. Mm -hmm. Yep. And like, if you're not watching anti-reviews, why are you even here? Like, if you want a condensed version of Florian's opinions, edited by, I have to say, a very talented editor, <laughs> you should be watching these anti-reviews videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on, man. Give me give me your views. I must yeah. have them. <laughs> okay, E. Rich, round it up. What's going to be been... the final film? Okay, yeah. so I, yeah. I've been I've been going back and forth because I feel like when Mighty Morphin Power Rangers got picked that maybe I should stick with movies from my childhood. But because Dune film. Part Two now, <laughs> because Dune Part Two is coming out pretty soon, I'm going to put on the PCP Dune, the David Lynch Dune no. uh, movie from 1984. <laughs> you don't um, want to make me watch the Dil uh, Dennis Villeneuve one so I can watch the sequel. Uh, no, no, I want to watch the David Lynch Dune. <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, well, I, tell I me about well, it. Well, I don't know well, too well, much about that. There is insane shit in this movie. Uh, there is a cat that something milks in order to get stuff for this like evil floating fat baron guy. Um, there's big worms. There's, Look, I, I uh, need to know: is this a, a small cat or is it a big cat? No, it's like, a small. It's a it's a regular size cat. It's do not they, huge. Do they milk its tiny cat nipples? That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's fucking insane, David Lynch shit. There's a giant uh, monster in a in a fucking huge glass uh, enclosure. Uh, it gets rolled out. It, it's it's some crazy shit. Um, you will probably fall asleep watching it <laughs> if I had to if I had to guess. So it's a good sleep aid if you need that. So wow. don't fall asleep watching a Serbian film coming soon to a PCP <laughs> near you. Okay, so I I got the numbers here. We got. 50 million box office for Expendables 4, okay? And the other ones have all made 200 million, so Oof. it's definitely the worst I'm surprised one. it even made 50 million. Is that worldwide? Yeah. Okay, it is all right. Worldwide. Okay, that, that does make some sense. Okay. What's yep. the box it's office on a Serbian money. film? Did it also make 50 million? 
Oh, we can look. I would, I would be surprised. Serbian film, gross. So, anyways, uh, I forgot to mention. I actually. Wait, if you search like... a Serbian film, gross, d- do not search with images on, because it might not <laughs> no. be what you're looking for. It, it just made one thousand five hundred fifty dollars. That's pretty. Whoa! Impressive. Damn! Whoa. If only I was there, I could have boosted it by like eight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Would have bought one ticket. Yeah. Maybe, it have, maybe it would have used Movie Pass. Who knows? When a Serbian film came out, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> sure. Anyways, I, I forgot to mention I actually really enjoyed the time traveling parts in this movie, okay? I like how uh, You like, like the Benders Bender. going back in time to get all the stuff throughout history. Well, not that as much, but I like how he put the, the tattoo on, on the butt. Oh yeah. That yeah. was good. <laughs> like that was that was a solid continuity there, okay? <laughs> okay. Do you guys have anything you want to plug? Uh Weekend, we are actually moving forward and, and putting hard work into our collab video, yeah. the yeah, MVP. It's funny because I, I I I shouted out the comment to Simeon, and it's 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 it's, it's interesting <laughs> where, where where the film is went. So we're gonna have to really talk about wow. it some more. Yeah, and I am I did not manage to finish the. Rebel Moon video last January, but I am wow. working on Suicide Squad the video game review this month. So <laughs> look forward to so we'll look, look forward to in March when he tells us that that project has been abandoned. <laughs> Don't worry, weekend Rebel Moon. Yeah. You get several bites of the apple because eventually yeah. the second part will come out, and you can talk about both of them together. True. And then eventually yeah. the director's cut of the first one will come out. At which Maybe point I'll just you can talk about them together as well. Oh Maybe yeah, I'll just do the April one. Yeah. It I almost April, forgot. Right? I yeah, actually what? released a, a Rebel Moon video, so everyone should oh, check it out. Oh, I have to see that. Is it short? Yeah. It's very short, yes, and it has a poo in the title, so. <laughs> I hope you all. Wait, the poop emoji? Is that what you Yes. He's, yeah, okay. he called it more like Rebel Poo. Oh. oh. It, it, it is shocking that I didn't get more views for this brilliant <laughs> wordplay. <laughs> Florian's like, I put a poo in the video, and there should be an instant 5,000 hits there. <laughs> yeah, and so somehow it didn't go. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe Weekend can watch your Rebel Moon video, and yeah. maybe it summarized yeah, you... his points enough that he doesn't have to make his. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can see how a, a YouTuber works who, who gets his videos done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you, should, to... <laughs> you should re-upload Florian's video with his, uh... Yeah, and with your little avatar voice in there. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna change. I'm gonna change the voice over. I'm just gonna put a laugh track. I'm uh-huh. gonna put some meme on the corner. Right, right. Like the happy, happy, happy cat in TikTok. Maybe I'll put it there. Yeah, why the fuck not? And then put Family Guy in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or or I'll do the TikTok thing where I, there's the review on the top, and there's some video game on the bottom yeah, or, or runner, on the left. Yeah, or a runner game. Yeah. Or a runner game yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's... Ryan getting run over by a car. <laughs> yeah, that, that's how you win in TikTok. You just re-upload shit. And w- Damn, With more it. layers of new shit yeah. to look at. Uh, e Rich, yeah. what are you going to plug? Yeah, you can find me on Twitter at T-Z-A-R-R-E-V-A-N, and then my letterbox is Revan1138. The other day I saw American Fiction and Argyle, both movies which uh, have a lot in common, actually, surprisingly. They both suck. <laughs> or... <laughs> Argyle yeah, sucked. Was pretty good. Uh, defend it, Argyle sucked. Uh, Argyle yeah, Ar- too... Argyle did suck. Argyle <laughs> was too fucking long. I thought that was the thing in common. Two hours and so. twenty minutes for a movie that it... should be f- an hour forty-five at most. Erich, there was a fucking dance number, and then after that, there's another fucking dance number. <laughs> yeah. Shoot this fucking wow. director, Jesus Christ. Yeah, what's his name uh, has fallen very far. Yeah. I used to like his movies. <laughs> Yeah, Vaughn, Matthew Vaughn, Matthew Kingsman Vaughn, so. guy, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. And the, the end credit scene of Argyle is some weird fucking tie into the Kingsman movies, and I'm just like, yeah. what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck are you no, doing? No, okay, I'm gonna spoil this movie because it's fucking shit anyway. Argyle is not a real person. The author is Argyle, and her real name is Agent Arkyle. Argyle. That's why she's Argyle. And somehow th- there's this other lookalike fuck that appears at the end of the movie, but that's beside the Kingsman Book Zero or whatever the fuck, which is 
uh, Agent Ar the actual Agent Argyle. So fuck this movie. <laughs> I've seen all of the movies in that series, and I could not tell you for a single second what the fuck that end credit scene actually meant. Yeah, same. <laughs> oh my just, god. It's just Are they still building up to Hitler? <laughs> I mean, that's the Kingsman. Uh, yeah, King the yeah. Kingsman post credits. Yeah. Scene. Yeah. Wow. Anyway, yeah, boys, are we gonna meet back here next week to review the Naroy? Hell yeah! No, oh, I guess so. We're finally gonna do it next week. Guess All I'm right. What are we have reviewing? To read the Naroy. The Naroy. Oh, the Naroy. We were supposed to watch up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah next yeah. week. And then after right. that, we're finally bringing back Scooby Doo. We're doing uh, the Ghoul School. That's right. Whoa. Stay tuned. Whoa. Whoa. Ghoul School. You're That's all crazy. invited. This is Ghoul School. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I don't know if we're really doing Ghoul School. But